Mary J. Blige serenades Hillary Clinton about police brutality. Um, awkward. Tonight on the 504, it's time for the hot mess stories of the week. Find out why some people are drilling holes in their iPhones. And the scoop on Lil Wayne's memoir about his time in prison. I'm Sheba Turk, and the 504 starts right now. to the 504 tonight it is thursday which means it's time for hot mess and of course we've got our faves stevie g and teapot how you guys feeling good wonderful you look lovely in red <laughs> you have a very nice shirt and you have a balloon what's going what? on what's going on with your balloon oh well since no one took me to prom i figured i would give myself a corsage a little bit late Okay. okay, Rock and Doopsie. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the show. It's good to be here. I'm a fan. It's good to be here. Oh, you're a fan. We're uh, a fan of yours. He said he's a fan of us. He said. Yeah, he well, said he likes this he's show. A okay. Be a fan of her he too. said he likes this show. Okay. Did you see how she tried to shut me down? No, right. I'm just a fan of your splits, which right, I hear we you. won't be seeing. Tonight, right, no, you won't be seeing them today. I don't have my dance shoes and my dancing pants on. <laughs> But you'll have another treat on. for us, I hear. Yeah, I got the booty shake. That's, that's the, <laughs> the booty shake. I, Not a I, booty shake. I it's call, the I booty shake. I call that the body, the, the, the Zodico booty. <laughs> Rock and doopsie. I'm glad you're here. All right. You guys fans of Mary J. Blige? Yes. yes. What? Oh, no. No, I am. Um, <laughs> Are I mean, you? I mean, I wouldn't say, like, I mean, I don't dislike her. I, I think she's fine. I mean, she sings very well. Okay, what we're going to do two and two. What the All hell right. is a dancery <laughs> is what I want to know. Listen, she kicked off a dancery the other day. Our first stories tonight have me asking why did this happen? Apple has a new show coming out, and on one of the episodes, Mary J. Blige is interviewing Hillary Clinton, and they're going to be talking about topics like racism and police brutality. None of that, though, explains why Mary J. Blige starts serenading Clinton. The awkward is at a whole new level. If an officer stops you, Always be polite and never ever run away. Promise mama you'll keep your hands inside. Is it a gun? Is it a knife? Is it a wallet? This is your life. It ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. No secret, my friend, you can get killed just for living in your American skin. Wow. Do you guys have American skin? You ever dated a guy who could sing and they just start singing? <laughs> and it sounds like this. Is that where you're going? I'm just telling you, one time I dated this guy who could rap, and he brought in his notebook one day, and he just started rapping, and I was, like, sitting there, like, I mean, what do you do? I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't know. Know. <laughs> that, that, is completely, there, that is completely, that is completely irrelevant to any is. of this. That's why, too, because she was sitting there doing an interview, and Doopsie. all of a sudden, Mary just started singing. Well, Teapot likes to throw around that she dated some rappers back in the day. No, I, no, I'm... Not that rapper, definitely. You want you want to hear my list of Bang Brothers? Shut up! No. Shut up! <laughs> I, 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 dated, I, I dated a bunch of a couple of strippers. No, 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 no! Don't know? get I mean, yeah. wait, strippers. What? Yeah, yeah. Also irrelevant. Have you it, have you two and, met? And they're giving them a hard time, you know. Hey, I need everybody to come back to the 504, where we're talking <laughs> about Mary J. Blige and Hillary Clinton. Y'all are a hot mess. What do you think of this song? Well, at least, I mean, it kind of sounds like she's improvising. That is a Bruce Springsteen song, though. Um, so, so, what? That's oh, you, a real song? Yeah, that's a real song. That's a Bruce Springsteen song. <gasps> it was, he made it in, uh, back in like 2004 uh, because the New York uh, NYPD shot a guy whose name was like Amadou Diou. I can't remember how to say it. Yeah, it's a real song. Oh. The thing is, singing it to Hillary Clinton out of context in a promo does seem a bit um, horrifying. Like, what's Hillary Clinton supposed to say? This is She's why we need to see that in the smile. Sort of, but she barely smiled. She just looked dead. I'm just saying. Yes, I agree. Our kind is is really doing your kind a disservice. I'm telling you. What me. is she supposed to say? Doopsy, what do you think of the song? Well, I think it's a great song, and I think the reason she might have been singing it to Hillary is if she wins for president, she give the song to every chief of the police department and let them hear it when they stop a black man. Then they just play the song for the black man, keep your hands down, no gun in the car, put your gun under the seat, put your knife in the <laughs> <and, you know, laughs> just, just, You know, let's just keep it real. 
Cops stopped me the other day. I had a car full of white girls, and they still took me to jail. No, I, I, no I'm Doopsie. saying I go to Doopsie. jail. This is a true story. I go to jail. Doopsie. I walk in jail, and the guy, you know where they take your jewelry and all your stuff. Yeah. Guy goes, "Who arrested Rock and Doopsie? Then he tells me, "Man, if you need a drummer, I'm a good drummer." Wait, and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, trying to go to the, hey, to the process. Back up. Please back, back up. up. Why they gotta be white girls? Well, well, well at the and time. And why did you have a car full of them? Well, like I said. Were well, they all there of their own volition? Like I said, I, I, like I said, like I said, I was dating strippers, and 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 it was after work, and they needed a ride to their car, so I wanted them to be safe. You rode in a car full. And me, being the nice guy that I am, yeah. I jumped into my Escalade and filled it Doopsie, up. And I, what were they? What were you arrested for? Uh, actually, uh, taking uh, drunk driving. But I really wasn't intoxicated. I'm in okay. love with him. This is a hot. I'm in love with him. Because the black cop said oh, the black cop was like. just a message from Doopsy's lawyer. The black cop was <laughs> like. <laughs> the black cop was like, come on, man, go ahead on. And the old white man was like, okay, Doopsy, look, blow in this breathalyzer, and if you if you're underneath the uh, level, I'll let you go. But um, I was a little Doopsie? bit over. If usually, I get called to be a witness in some trial, I am going to be angry at you, Usually, I cut people off to continue on with the show, but nothing could be better no, than nothing. this. But we do have to move on, okay? Mary J. Blige <laughs> was so upset about everybody responding to her video. She tweeted, one. everybody shut the F up. After Hashtag, that, you get this one. No, I want you to win. No, 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 you get this that. one after that. Be quiet, you two. Hashtag okay, crab in a barrel. Hashtag simple-minded. Hashtag 411. <laughs> she deleted the tweet, and now you have a flower on. No. What am I supposed to do with y'all? Wait, we got to move on to Mary J. Blige's other video. Do you guys remember the time she did that Burger King commercial? Let's uh, take a look at this remember. one. Have to see. Exciting things are happening at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. Oh, uh, what's in those new chicken snack wraps? What's in the new what's chicken snack? What's in the new snack? chicken wraps? Mary? Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, three cheeses, fresh rice. The new chicken snack wraps. Come and get it. Sorry. Wait. Wait. I, I can't tonight. So wait. While we're supposed to be listening to that song, number one, Rock and Doopsie goes, ooh, that sound real nice. Don't that make you want some chicken? Number two, he calls Stevie G Teapot. This one is Stevie okay. G. This one. I'm sorry. Y'all okay. confused. I, I, I right. only, Look, I love, I'm with you. She first, made me want that. It's the first time I, I meet y'all in person. I'm a big fan, I get but I've never seen I get mail addressed to Teapot and no, Associates. That's fair. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fault. No one cares we about me. We don't fault you. Look, y'all are done with Mary She Day made Blige. me, no, I love her. She could sing anything, and she I'll made me I'll tell you what, it. I'll tell you what. This is what happens when Rihanna sleeps with all the good songwriters. Mary J. Blige <laughs> has to do a Burger King commercial. I'm so done with you. She took all the good songs. Okay, moving on. Animal activists are going to new lengths to make a point. The other day, some vegan protesters allowed themselves to be branded with red hot irons to demand an end to the meat industry in France. Teapot, are you laughing inappropriately I mean, again? Can't, can't they just <laughs> don't you do this? Can't they just go naked? They are partially naked. I'm just saying, why you gotta brand yourself? I don't know. Doopsie, do you understand this devotion to a cause? I have the slightest idea why they do that, especially if she's doing it on her back. I'm like, you, she should go naked. So if you're gonna brand yourself, let them see it. You yeah. Know, why cover it you up? You just want her to be naked. I do, like do you it. brand your white girls? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do actually, you put Doopsie on them? Actually, actually, if you if, if if you go in a strip club and you see on a white girl booty say Zodico, that's my brand. Okay, gotcha. So that's All my right. girl. Oh, no. So go well, that's, that's good go let her dance. That's just good business. Let her roll We're it ready on for you. We're rocking Doopsie at night. I love let's, him. I let's love take him. a him. Let's take a breather, okay? If you're looking for a juicy read, Lil Wayne has a memoir coming out. I can't wait to hear what Doopsie thinks of this. He is spilling all the deets on his time in prison.